Hello everyone, thank you for stopping by, my name is Dave and in this particular video, I'm gonna install a custom ROM from scratch to my Samsung Galaxy S3 which was launched way back in 2012, pretty old now. Of course you're gonna find all the links in the description below in case you want for yourself. So beginning with, you're gonna need 4 things, first Odin for Windows, second custom recovery. I have chosen TWRP, you can use whatever you prefer. And the third is custom ROM, I have chosen Lineage OS 14.1, again you can use whatever you like. And the fourth one is GApps, all the links are available in the description below. Let's have a look at the current Android version on my phone. You can see it's currently on Android version 4.3 Jelly Bean and the model number is i9300. Now turn off the phone. Press volume down, power and home key at the same time to boot into download mode press volume up key to continue connect your phone to the PC via USB cable launch Odin Now click on PDA and select the recovery file. Click on start. The phone's gonna restart. Now you're gonna Turn off the phone. Press volume up, power and home key at the same time to get into recovery mode. Swipe to allow modifications. Now if you want to back up your device data, just follow what I am doing. Backup will take roughly about 5 minutes. Now we're gonna wipe the data, tap on format data, type yes, now tap twice on the back button. and then tap on advanced wipe now you're gonna wanna select Dalvik cache system data internal storage that's completely optional you can leave it if you want to swipe to wipe now go back to the main recovery screen by tapping three times on the back button Now it's time to install zip files. 
tap on install and swipe to flash go back and select gapps.zip as well tap on reboot system now the phone will boot up and guys first boot takes a lot of time so don't worry about Now let me just quickly set this up. This is the main screen as you can see. Let's jump right into the settings and check the Android version and stuff. Let's check the camera. Camera is working fine as expected. And guys, this phone is not rooted, so you can use your banking apps without any issue. And Lineage OS provides OT updates, so you don't need to download and flash the files separately. The stability and the performance of this ROM is very good as compared to the original ROM. As I'm posting this video after using this ROM for about 15 days, I didn't encounter any problem yet. So if you wanna check out this ROM for yourself, just go for it. Now wrapping up, if you found this video helpful, please give it a like, share it with other people around, comment down below for any query, suggestion and subscribe for more content like this. Thank you so much, bye for now and I hope to catch you in my next video.